caught in the crossfire. What's up guys? Been a minute since I've even did a vlog. Uh, been away for some time and just been uploading shorts and shit. But today's topic I'll be touching bases on NY and Cali sayings. Like certain sayings like We got two different uh, <laughs> versions of like, yo, he got me tight. When I first heard that and I first came to New York, I thought it was the hugest pause moment until they was like, no, he got me mad. And I was like, well, just say that shit because he, you saying, oh, he got me tight. just sounds weird. Like, don't don't say that. It's, it's a little on a sus end. And then even uh, in Cali, they have and something that's similar to a very as well on the edge of being sus like yo he got me bent when i first heard that and when it was first becoming popular i was like what the fuck you mean he got you bent like he raped you in the ass like what the fuck you mean he got you bent like that you weird bro stay on that side bro i ain't with the funny shit <laughs> uh but yeah that they be having some stuff saying, especially NY. NY be having some weird sayings like glizzy. Like, I'll never, like, stay away. Like, <laughs> don't even talk to me saying, while eating a hot dog. I'm like, yo, you want a glizzy? I'm like, <coughs> yo. That's a little, <clears throat> uh, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> because if I said it, some of y'all like, oh my god, you should cancel him even before I even get to a bigger stage. Y'all try to cancel me by saying it. Even though I still say it to this day, it, even though it has a different definition, for me, it has a different definition. Like, copy. Like, people say, like, when they agree or on something, like, making an arrangement, like, yo, copy. I got you. I heard you. And Cali, we'd be like, for sure. Like, for sure, for sure. It's just certain little sh shit. And NY says it very proper, like, for sure. For sure, for sure. <laughs> it sounds very white, but hey. To each his own. Um, another thing is, is uh, like, what's another uh, saying that I just was thinking about a whole bunch of shit like that people say and oh like you're like that's that's another way of like yo what's up and they'd be like you're and it's a big old group of people just out of nowhere start saying you're and then that's another thing and then and Cali especially in the Bay Area be like what up bro what up? What up, bro? I can mean two things. What up, you good? Or what's up? You trying to see me? Like, and then when another thing you trying to see me is like you trying to fight for the people that don't know me, don't, and you all don't understand. <laughs> That's why I got the glasses on. We in class today. I was <laughs> but uh, yeah, like certain shit that's like different in Cali than in wise the sayings and then another thing that's like stood out to me about NY and, and Cali the difference that especially where I grew up in in the Bay Area it's not segregated at all yeah you find your races and all that but in NY they don't hide it they do not hide how racist they are, especially Dominicans and well, yeah, patriotism and confederalism. Yes, capitalism. We, we love it. Yes. <laughs> Those kind of people, they are not hard to find in NY. In Cali, it's not hard to find, but it's still harder to find in Cali than it is in NY. Like, a lot of people out here would say it's diverse to me. Like, what I 
um, the divide, the kind of diversity I'm used to is when it's not segregated. Like you, you got your blacks in one area, you got your whites in one area, you got your a Asians in one area, you got your Indians in one area. It's like that a lot out here in NY. Besides two boroughs, two like two boroughs, there's actually like very good diversity in those cities, which is. Brooklyn and Queens, those are the top two diverse cities that I would actually recommend because if you go to Manhattan, the only time you're going to see diversity is in Times Square. The tourists, take away the tourists, very segregated. You don't get diversity at all. And another place is the Bronx. Even though it's the one that created the genre I love, hip hop. That is very segregated. You're not gonna get too many different ethnicities in the Bronx. The only time you see white people to go to the Bronx or any other kind of ethnicity besides Hispanics and blacks is if they're going to a Yankees game. Other than that, it's very segregated. You got the two, even the freaking Dominicans and blacks are separated from each other besides the younger ones that you're like, fuck it, we, we're the same people. And to me, I don't care. Like everybody's the same people. We all bleed the same. We all have struggles. That's how I look at life. And that's what I mean by diversity and why it's very for themselves. Like everybody out here is for themselves. It's not, there's no community. And that's what I mean by diversity. There's no community. And Bay Area, Oakland, it's like you got a lot of people that's about unicism and being together, bringing all types of people together. You don't really get that out here in New York. You really gotta like have a tough skin and ignore the shit they say because Nine times out of 10, they just want a reaction out of you just to get a reaction out of you. Because like everybody says, New Yorkers are assholes. Yes, they are the number one people that are assholes. I dealt with it for three years. I starting to become one <laughs> myself is, is an asshole, but it's only just because I'm being an asshole towards the assholes. If you nice, I'm, I'm gonna be nice to you. But if you an asshole, I'm gonna be an asshole straight back to you. Like, I ain't Jesus, I ain't turning another cheek, fuck you. <laughs> that's another thing. You get a lot of people out here that's like the people in at BART, like in the subway stations. You got these people trying to promote the word of God. Like, uh, except at BART, in, at the BART station in, in Cali, that's a cult. These people are just Jehovah Witnesses, even though to me there's no difference. Don't crucify me for that. To me there's just no difference. I don't believe in none of the religion stuff. I do believe in a higher power. I just don't believe the BS. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's those are the differences in Cali in New York, like, a lot of people ask me, like, what do I prefer? I was like, depends, like, you're asking about business and job-wise, I say New York. If you want to go people-wise, I say Cali. Cali got the better people, the more, like, it's a vibe kind of people. It's just what it is, like, that's what I look for. And... That's kind of all I got, really, is those are the differences, the sayings, the, what to look for if you ever come to New York, or what to look for if you ever go to Cali. I say a lot of people talk bad about Oakland. They got Tom Holland in the hood of Oakland. That should say a lot, because that motherfucker is a London person. You won't see that much <laughs> out here in New York. You won't see a London person that's from the suburbs of London and the hood 
of New York, anywhere like Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, even the ghetto area of Manhattan, which is Union Square. That shit is acting like not supposed to be ghetto because the lower the fucking it is in Manhattan, it's supposed to be more clean, but it ain't like that on 14th Street, Union Square. That shit is ghetto. <laughs> A lot of projects but to, I ain't judging what it is but other than that that's all I really got for today that's the blog since people been like I, I'm tired of these gaming shit I got some of you subscribers that say I'm tired of the gaming so here's a video for y'all be happy <laughs> see y'all in the next video <laughs>